This is a Real Ghost Stories Online Extra. Hi, Tony. Um, my name is Jessica. Um, hi, Harper, Carol, and Todd. Um, pretty cool that you have a redhead. I am also a redhead. Um, I am from Arizona, uh, but my ghost story does not take place in Arizona. My ghost story takes place in Fort Wayne, Indiana. So the <clears throat> summer before my uh, first year of high school, so it would have been like roughly 99, 2000, um, my late stepfather um, got a new job with GM. And um, it forced a move to Indiana. And my parents found this house, and the rent was, like, super affordable, and it was, like, right where we needed to be, and uh, it was perfect for our family of four. It was myself, my brother, my mom, and my stepdad. And it, things started almost immediately to my brother, my mom, and myself arriving. My stepdad had lived in the house previously uh, for three weeks before that while we packed up our house here and put everything in the U-Haul. So um, arriving to the house, my stepdad was not home. He was at work. Uh, he had sent my mom a key or brought it back with him, and I don't remember which. Uh, when he came home to see us one weekend. And um, they took, so we got to the house and everything. And then, you know, took the key to go open the front door. And we couldn't get in. You heard the deadbolt turn. You heard it click as if it was unlocked, the door handle would turn as if it was unlocked, but it wouldn't open. So um, we actually, and then we couldn't get any other door open either, not the garage, not the back door, nothing. So we actually had to call my stepdad, leave the property, and come back. And as soon as my stepdad got there and turned and opened the door and everything, the door opened just fine for him. For us, there was nothing that was going to budge that door. All right. No big deal. House was built in the 70s. It's Indiana. A little weird. No worries. So fast forward a couple weeks. And we're getting settled in and everything. And I mean, the house made noises, but uh, it wasn't, I don't know, really anything outside of like settling noises or anything like that, or it didn't seem so anyway. Um, and then we met the neighborhood kids and everything like that. And this will be relevant. Um, this family was super weird. Um, they had like nine kids and it was like they ran amok. The kids would come over at like all hours. And we had them come over at like nine or 10 o'clock asking if we could play like at night. It was so strange. And after we had met them and everything, I was in my room one night, which was in the back of the house. My brother's room was right across from me. And everything, and all of a sudden I heard, like, fingers tapping on my window to the side of the yard. The other window went to the front yard and, like, out to the street. But the side yard wrapped around back. And, you know, it's like... 
12, 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm a night owl. I will stay up all night. But um, I heard tapping. Like, as if you were, like, drumming your fingers across the window. And my first thought was, oh, those kids, do they just not have parents? Because they had come over late night before. So I went over to the window, pulled up the blinds, opened the window, and stuck my head out. If you want access to more Real Ghost Stories, become a premium subscriber to Real Ghost Stories online. Sign up now through Apple Podcasts and try it for three days free. Not on Apple? Go to patreon.com slash realghoststories or ghostpodcast.com.